For everyone taking microeconomics this semester, I'm gonna assume you're probably learning about Nash equilibrium right now. I'm a tutor and I wanted to share an example of a game that has two Nash equilibriums. This is actually an example from my microeconomics cram kit where I can legitimately teach you this entire class in one night. So if you're absolutely screwed for your final exam coming up, go check out the cram kit in my bio. But with that being said, this game right here actually has two Nash equilibriums in the top left and bottom right cells. I use this example of John and Sarah going to a pub versus club, because I'll be so honest, like this happens with my friend group too. What to take note of here is that if both parties don't do the same action, like if Sarah goes to the pub and John goes to the club, they both achieve zero utility. Same if the inverse happens. If John goes to the pub and Sarah to the club, they're both unhappy. They both achieve nothing. So they both kind of got to work together and go to the same place. But John prefers the pub. He achieves 10 utility, whereas Sarah only achieves five. And Sarah prefers the club. So she achieves 10 utility, where John only achieves five. With that being said, once the game rests in either of these cells, neither party is incentivized to switch their strategy. And in turn, it's a Nash equilibrium. So let's start with the top left right here and view this from Sarah's point of view. So only focus on the blue value here. If Sarah changes her strategy and goes to the club, Sarah's gonna go from five to zero utility. It doesn't make sense for her to ditch John. So Sarah's chilling in this cell and let's see if John is. Now zone in on the green values here. If John switches his strategy and goes to the club, he's gonna go from 10 utility to zero. So he too is not gonna ditch Sarah and is gonna stay in this outcome. So this means that this cell here is a Nash equilibrium. This one is two for the exact reasons, but flipped. If Sarah decides to go to the pub, she goes from 10 utility to zero. So she's not gonna do that. And if John goes to the pub and he goes from five utility to zero. So he's also not gonna do that. And this cell too is a Nash equilibrium. And this is why I encourage students to go cell by cell and see if either party is incentivized to switch their strategy because if they are that's not going to be a Nash equilibrium and you gotta go cell by cell because there might actually be two Nash equilibriums at play all right with that being said if you like the way I explain microeconomics and literally need to learn this entire class in one night I want you to go check out my microeconomics cram kit this is exactly what you need I walk you through all the core concepts in this class and then I help you apply those concepts onto must-know practice problems, basically boiled down versions of the problems that are gonna be on your exam. Because the beauty of introductory microeconomics is that it's largely standardized across universities. So in the cram kit, we're walking through the core of what you need to know as fast as possible. So go click the link in my bio if you wanna save your grade with me.